Good morning, guys. Coming to you on day. Gonna let that door close really softly because if I don't, it slams really hard. Coming to you on day seven of the gym being closed, and I'm going even more insane now. So here's what happened. So as you may know from my Instagram story, I got a brand new lens in yesterday. But here's the problem. I found out after opening it and trying to put it on my camera, it didn't fit because I got, in technical terms, an E mount instead of an A mount. And the difference is literally like two centimeters around the diameter, but still, it wouldn't fit. I'm going, well, what am I supposed to do now? I'm supposed to be putting content out and I don't have a camera. I'm thinking, how many YouTubers out there are having to use what I am right now? Their phone. And I thought, what better camera is that? And I don't really have an excuse not to get content out. So if you notice a slight dip in quality, it's because of that. So what I did now was I returned the lens to Amazon, got to bring it to a UPS store around the area. Hopefully that's before lockdown happens, at least in my area outside of Denver. And then they're going to refund me the money back. And I'm like, well, I can't have the lens get shipped in at the end of lockdown, which is now April 30, so what am I supposed to do? Went to eBay, found a guy who could sell me a 16 to 55 millimeter lens. Anyone who has Sony knows what I'm talking about, and it'll get here by next Monday. And I'm thinking, you know what? This other lens I bought was supposed to arrive last Thursday, it took until yesterday to get here. So, not looking forward to this, but for this week, all my videos are going to be on my phone. So what I'm doing right here is I'm actually showing you one of my walking routes right around my neighborhood. Not the most glorious part of it, but it's one of my walking routes. I mean, how can you beat a view of the mountains like that? One of the reasons I love to do this, and I will rave on and on about these earbuds, and no, I am not sponsored by them. It's these Raycon earbuds right here. I freaking love them. When I first bought them, I was like, I think they're like $85. I got them on discount code. I was like, okay, I hope these are good. I just spent $85 on them. These, in my opinion, are like five times better than like Beats, Bose, or any other earbuds out there. Like, they rock my world and these earbuds are made by DJ Ray J he realized that it does not take $250 to make a pair of bows or beats it takes like 40 bucks to do that so he's trying to disrupt the entire like $200 earbud industry I'm re-recording this part because for whatever reason my phone decided not to record this part or I may have deleted by accident but anyway I cannot find it in my camera storage at all so the first part on how to make home workouts just more fun is to vary up the workouts. Like try and make them more intense. Like if you can do a regular air squat just on your own, like easily, then you might want to upgrade it. Like try doing a single leg pistol squat, getting good at that. Or if you're really good at just a flat, flat push up, then you should probably do a decline push up. And if that's a little too easy, then put your hands on something that's a little bit elevated so you can go down further and really get that good stretch. Maybe doing shoulder presses with like some dumbbells or resistance band is not challenging you too much. Try doing a handstand push-up. Always try and do something to really challenge yourself. Like you shouldn't ever let body weight get boring. There's plenty of body weight exercises you can do. Like a diamond push-up is not the only exercise or body weight exercise you can do for the triceps. You can actually do a skull crusher too. I recently found that out. But if you really do want to keep your home workouts good, you're going to have to find a way to vary up your body weight workout, whether it's single leg squat, decline push up, handstand push up, or whatever it is, you are going to want to vary that because everyone is going to get tired just doing push ups, sit ups, pull ups, and air squats all day long. Find a way to vary it just a little bit. Add some challenge into it. All right, guys, just got back from my walk. Now I'm going to reveal to you the second way you're going to make home workouts more effective by adding challenges. 
This is even something I use for my in-person clients too, is to add challenges to their workouts. Like, so my in-person clients, they can barely get like two or three clean push-ups in a workout. I'll challenge them that. Okay, throughout the day, I want you to do at least three sets of those three clean push-ups. And they're always amazed by how much, how much progress they actually make. Or I'll be like, okay, you're getting good at doing the plank for 10 seconds, let's help it to 15 seconds. You gotta add those little challenges in. Like to keep seeing progress, you can't let yourself keep doing the same thing over and over. Like if you keep doing the same amount of push-ups, you're going to stay in the same area. But if you keep doing more, do things like incline push-ups, get good at one arm push-ups, you're going to make progress even though you can't get into a gym. Or if you're trying to get good at pistol squats like I am right now, and your goal is to get at least 10 good clean ones on each leg every day. So after about a day or two, you add it to 11. If you keep adding that over time, you're going to keep seeing that progress. So one way you're going to keep your home workouts still effective is keep adding challenges. Now y'all, I totally understand, I totally get it that doing these big challenges or getting these big challenges with body weight is not always as sexy or badass as like hitting a deadlift PR or squat PR or even a bench personal best but you know what you just gotta do what you gotta do with what you have like for me one of my goals is I want to be able to do at least two clean pistol squats on each leg make your goal like that that maybe you want to be able to do 10 push-ups in a row without going out of breath or you want to get really really good at one arm pulls which if you can do that I'll credit to you like make your goals like that right now I need to get my home workout on too. Badassery takes no days off. Well now if you can't tell by the side of my couch, this video is coming to an end very soon. And the third and final way you're going to keep your home workouts at least decent is to take it outside. Just try taking it outside. By outside, everyone thinks that outside means you gotta go for a run or yeah, you gotta go for a run. But let me tell you this, when it comes to taking workouts outside, like this morning when I went around for a walk around my neighborhood, I found a big tree stump or a big part, what used to be a tree. I just picked it up and I just started doing a lot of squats. And I actually felt it pretty well. Then I found a rock and then started doing bench press with it on the ground. And I found out that, hey, dang, that's actually a pretty good workout. So like, if you're getting really bored of doing workouts at home, you can take your workout outside. Like go on a trailhead. You find a branch that's sturdy enough you can do pull-ups on do pull-ups on it. Or if like you're doing a lot of yard work, like some people are this time of year, fill up a five gallon bucket from Home Depot with rocks or whatever and start doing workouts like that. Like just because we are confined to home workouts now does not mean they have to be boring. Try and switch things up a little bit. Like all my examples I gave you, doing squats with a tree stump, push bench press with a rock, doing anything with a bucket or just whatever. Find something that's like interesting you can use to work out. I mean, no one's going to judge you anymore because they realize that all the gyms are closed for for quite a while. So if you like these tips, you like me making these videos, hit me up with one of these. Give me a like for this video. Also, if you have any topics you want me to cover in the future, let me know in the comment section down below. And also, what are you doing? Why haven't you subscribed yet to my channel? So if you want 
more content like this and want to get that dream physique, all you need to do is subscribe right now. And I'll come back with another video sometime soon. See you then.